Now, if you're in your GCSEs and you can't do this question here, I got you. And this is a core question. Now, the first thing you should ask yourself is, is this sine cos tan or is it Pythagoras' term? And if you don't know what either of them are, oh my God, I'll help you. Sine cos tan, if there's any mention of angles, then you use sine cos tan. If there is just the labels or the lengths of the sides, then think Pythagoras, okay? See that box in the corner? That means it's a right angle triangle and you can use Pythagoras' theorem. Now, what is Pythagoras' theorem? But you should remember it's c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. If you don't know it, it's in your tables, but I go and learn it. Which is a, which is b, which is c? I want you to remember this. The hypotenuse, the long side, it's always going to be c, okay? It's the one you're kind of climbing up the mountain. x squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. Grand. Now, please don't tell me this. 3 squared is not 6. 3 squared is 9. So 9 plus 16 is equal to x squared. So x squared is equal to 25. Now, the last part is crucial, and people get lost here. x is equal to the square root of 25. x is equal to 5. Finish it off nicely, and that is Pythagoras' theorem.